Hey YouTube, it's your girl Baby Zane. I'm coming back with you on um, a post surgery update. It's now been four weeks since my um, double mastectomy, and they put it in my port here. And I'm just coming to give you an update on that. Um, today I want to talk to you about um, tissue expander pain. Okay, I mean I search. YouTube and I really didn't see too many people talking about it but tissue expanders are very painful um, when you wake up in the morning they feel like they're like hard as bricks like bowling balls um, there's a lot of burning um, there's like these sharp knife stabbing pains that run through your body um, and I call my doctor and my doctor is like just new school doctor that doesn't believe you're supposed to have pain medication and everything. If you're one of those patients where your doctor allow you to have pain meds and Flexeril, then consider yourself lucky. Maybe you, you don't experience this or you're medicated enough where you're not experiencing this. But going through tissue expander pain and going through the fill process and not having any medication whatsoever is pretty hard. So what I'm going to go over with you today is like what I do to help relieve some of my um, tissue expander pain. Okay, so what I found that um, in order to avoid that overnight first thing in the morning pain when you wake up, I don't know what happens to them overnight, why it gets so damn hard, but what I do is I take two washcloths and... I have on a sports bra. So what I do is I place two washcloths. Um, I get I run them under the water because they say do not use a heating pad. And trust me, I've seen the videos where the girl used the heating pad and she had these horrible burns on her. So you don't want to do that. So, um, what I do is I take two washcloths, I get them as hot as I can stand it, make sure they're not going to burn, and I place them one on each breast. And then what I do is I just take clean wrap, and I wrap it completely around my body. And what happens is it stays warm overnight because it acts with your body heat to keep it warm all night. And it's such a relief because when you wake up in the morning, you don't feel you don't feel that pain, and they're not hard. So it prevents them from getting hard, and it prevents them um, from it prevents them from getting hard, and it prevents you from being in so much pain when you wake up in the morning. Um, the other thing that I do do is um, at night I massage my breasts um, using. Um, aloe vera gel. When you have that burning sensation that you get, I take 100% whole leaf aloe vera gel, keep it in a refrigerator, and I just massage it all over my breasts. And like that immediately gets rid of that burning sensation that you have. So that's what has helped me thus far. Um, I almost wanted to just give up on the fill process because I just couldn't take that pain. Um, so what I did do that my doctor doesn't know is I called my other doctor and asked her to give me some Flexibro. <laughs> okay, so if you're watching this, Dr. Slazek, you didn't hear that. But, um, the muscle relaxer definitely helps. But I'm glad that because I'm using the washcloths on both breasts at night to sleep, um, I'm having better mornings and I'm able to move around and, um, do what I need to do. Um, so it really helps. So I hope that tip helps you. Um, it also helps to massage the breast. Like I said, I put on the aloe vera gel and I am massaging and I'm going to do another video, um, with, um, the massage techniques that I use, um, and how I got my range of motion back. Um, because if before I couldn't lift my arms or anything like that. So, um, I hope that helps. And I'll see you next time.